Heart to Heart, a Catholic media ministry in association with the Bellarmine Jesuit Retreat House, presents Seeds of Joy, stories for Easter. Today's story seed is The Battle of the Beatles. From St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 12. For all these reasons, let anyone who thinks they are standing upright watch out, lest they fall. Dr. Harry Emerson Fostick told the story of a tree that used to stand tall on the slope of Long's Peak in Colorado. But today, little remains of the once proud tree that naturalists believe was a seedling at the time Columbus landed on San Salvador. During the course of its incredible life, it was struck by lightning 14 times. It would have survived innumerable avalanches and storms as well. But nothing during those four centuries could overtake the tree. In the end, however, it was not a mighty act of nature that would hurt the tree the most. It was an army of beetles. These tiny insects that a person could crush between their fingers eventually attacked the tree and leveled it to the ground. The insects ate their way through the bark and gradually destroyed the inner strength of the tree by their microscopic but incessant attacks. A forest giant, which age had not withered, nor lightning blasted, nor storm subdued, fell at last due to one of the smallest insects. Life is sometimes like that. We stand guard against the times of crisis, We are prepared to battle. Our focus is strong. Often in these times, we turn to God to give us extra strength. We find faith and resolve and are better armed to face the major battles head on. But isn't it often the small things like jealousy, anger, resentment, pettiness, and negativity that eat us from the inside? Like the mighty tree, these little attacks can add up, bringing forth our downfall. But unlike the tree, we can be more aware of these internal battles and turn to God for strength in these attacks. With our roots planted firmly in faith, we too can stand stronger. watering the seeds. What are your little internal battles that threaten you the most? How can your faith help you battle these attacks?